Okay guys, so here is part two of how to take apart uh, inside of a TV. It's an old tube TV. Um, I actually was able to grab three of those today, and one yesterday, and a DVD player. So I'll go over a few parts in all of these. Um, here's a few of the pieces I acquired out of those. Um, and I'll show you how to reclaim some precious metals. All right, so, um, Here's the biggest chunk of copper that you are going to find in an old tube TV. Um, on these, there is a, a clip here and some wax that you will have to remove. Um, usually on each side, there's a clip as well. Sometimes there's a piece of ferric ore. Um, just to, um, There's lots of extra parts sometimes that you got to take apart for these. Um, here here like I said there's a center line um, but eventually I'm, you're going to get it down to um, this where the, the clip has already been removed um, so I'm going to show you you can take that apart the best way to get this off here um, so it's a chunk of copper and a nice piece of ferric ore um, you can keep the ferric ore I usually just save it aside um, you can make uh, some electromagnetic uh, motors um, other fun cool stuff with these um, so save them or not scrap them whatever um, these easiest way is just to take a pair of your uh, side snippers and just cut these cut them all the way through like scissors um, you know uh, there's going to be two of these plates here um, so that's quite a chunk of copper um, so like I said, there's a, a center line on here. I already, I already pre-broke um, these pieces here, uh, just so I could, I could take them apart fairly easy. Let me see if I can get these apart one-handed. Um, but there's a nice chunk of copper here on the inside. Um, it comes out relatively easy. Uh, I'm getting a little crazy with the camera trying to get this out. but I didn't want to totally destroy this so you can see how, how they do come out. Um, these pieces. Here are quite a bit of weight as well. I'm going to set this this camera here for just a second so you can so you can see just a little bit of effort um, and a snip here and we have a nice size piece of copper um, other side come right out so here you go two big pieces of copper I'm gonna pick this back up so just out of that center cone um, this is what we received this this is some nice coated copper this is some nice uncoated copper um, you can melt them down together uh, the coating will come off um, if you're saving it uh, for making other things um, you'll have to just strip the ends uh, if you're making these electrical um, other than that um, let's move on um, here was a couple of the uh, copper coils that were attached kind of how this piece is this was from a bigger TV and it had two other little copper coils you can save those um, definitely save all the copper that you can I'm gonna go over the board that it was with this our particular computer and I did loosen or uh, particular TV I did loosen a few things already um, usually they have little buttons um, usually buttons and switches contain a little bit of gold uh, like I said um, I, I loosened a few sometimes they're copper sometimes they're um, brass um, it looks to be inside these that these ones are gold um, it's just the plating but it's still worth money um, there's you know quite a few of them on this uh, TV so Five buttons equals uh, five pieces of gold. Um, we're going to move on a little bit farther. Um, here is another uh, copper uh, 
transformer um, or capacitor, whatever you want to call them. Uh, here's another one. Um, this is ferric ore. These uh, go together like the letter E. Um, so you'll have to break this copper band, remove it from the board, and then these will slide out um, an E and a 3 is what I call it, E3s, because that's what the shape of them are. Um, they're just little metal plates, they'll slide apart. Um, there's a couple of them. Uh, it's hard to see here, but they're stacked together. Um, those come apart fairly easy. And you just cut this tape off, and then um, you can just unwind the copper. Um, here we have a couple of aluminum uh, heat sinks. Aluminum um, can be melted down into bars. Um, some people melt them into uh, what they call hockey pucks in like a backyard uh, furnace. Um, pretty easy to make, uh, pretty fairly inexpensive, but um, it is a precious metal. Uh, that's why they recycle cans for 10 cents a piece. Um, there are also lots of little um, pins inside of these um, TVs and computers and stuff like that also. Um, this here, you would take a pair of snips or um, nippers and you lift this plastic up here. Um, take that plastic off and then you would just cut these. These are actually silver. Um, some of them you can tell are aluminum. Uh, they've, been, they've been super easy. Um, these ones here are steel. They hardly, hardly move at all. Um, there's more over here that are steel but like these connectors here, these are silver. Um, I had pre-loosened one here in the center as well and take that off and you just take these and just wiggle that free and then you, um, you know, separate all your metals into different containers and stuff. Um, also on these, besides the copper and the aluminum and the um, gold buttons that you may get, um, there is, um, another part called MLCCs. Now MLCCs are listed on your computer board and they always start with the letter C. There's plenty of parts that look like it and um, I'll go over that here in just a second. Um, inside this box there's another chip here and there's plenty of those MLCCs on here but I'm gonna flip this over so you can see some that are a little bit easier to get to. Um, now, here, on the back of this board, I'm going to zoom in so you can see, um, these are all MLCCs. Now, if it starts with something other than the C in the code, like an L, um, that's an inductor. Um, now, these ones are capacitors multi-layer ceramic capacitors. They are 2% palladium and 10% silver. Now you can collect the other little squares off the back, um, like this one here, um, and it does contain silver, but it lessens the amount of the palladium that you're gonna get from the mix. Um, so for every uh, kilogram of MLCCs, you will receive 20 grams of palladium and 100 grams of silver. Uh, so uh, right now about spot price you're going to get about $665 for one kilogram of uh, recycled uh, stripped down um, MLCCs. It's, a, it's an e quite an easy process. Um, I can go over that in another video later. I uh, just wanted to show you a few things that were on the inside of these TVs. Um, here is the, the chip that holds the, um, the, the tube uh, for the, the actual bulb. Um, there's not much on the top of this unless you're collecting resistors or um, stuff like that, capacitors. Um, if you're making projects, uh, that's great. If you're building your own chipboards, um, which in a later video I'll show you guys how to make um, and create your own uh, chipboard to power uh, your own electronics. So if you're making um, uh, electromagnetic lighting, um, which is a fun little project and it's, it's free energy, um, but I'll get, I'll get into that much later. 
Um, here again, on the back of here, you'll see there's not too many, um, but there is some of those MLCCs. There's, there's one right here, um, and there's a couple, you know, another here, and like I said, these do contain silver, but if I collect them by accident, I collect them, but I, I really just go for these. Um, the weight does add up quick, um, and but it does take time. Um, and you'll see that I collected, like I said, three TVs, so there's lots of copper, lots of aluminum to be had off of these. Um, there's quite a few of the MLCCs and other little parts that I collect. I collect the fuses um, and a few other things. Um, in all, off of one TV, you'll get uh, generally about a half a pound to a pound of copper. Um, that's not a lot, but um, off of every TV, you can melt down your own copper bar. Um, I'll show that in a, another video as well. Um, if you do melt copper, always wear a mask or do it outside. Um, melting copper does release an arsenic gas. Um, which can be very toxic. Um, now this video is getting long, so I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to go over this uh, DVD player really quick. Um, here's some more of those buttons. Um, they do contain uh, usually gold. Um, there's a little bit of silver right there. Um, you know, if, if you're making stuff, here's a remote sensor, which is pretty cool. Um, sometimes they get pretty cool display disc. Um, inside here is a piece of ferric ore, um, usually in your CPU and um, connectors. Um, sometimes there's a little bit of gold, definitely silver. Um, on another board in there, here's an aluminum heat sink. Here's another um, capacitor, transistor, whatever you want to call them. Here's another one here. Um, so that's silver. Um, other than that, you know, here's another piece I, I pre-loosened. There's some silver pins there. Um, you know, on the back side of this, um, you know, some some have little uh, ceramic capacitors and some have none. So this is one that unfortunately doesn't have any, but there's plenty of discs, uh, uh, CPU discs in this, um, and if you look closely, you can see all over this board, there are the MLCCs, um, there's silver pins, there's more uh, aluminum, and um, not a lot of copper on this one, um, but uh, definitely worth, worth the scrap. Um, you can see there's, there's a little bit of gold uh, where some of the connectors were and went. So you just cut those out and put those in another pile. Um, and here's the CD player. Um, there's always usually uh, it's a silver uh, wire for connecting. Um, a lot of times there's gold. Um, Somewhere on the underside of here. Uh, not often in cheaper electronics though. Will you find as much gold? You'll have to get into the CPUs. Um, but there's definitely um, things worth collecting in uh, scrap electronics. So if you see them sitting on the side of the road, do not be afraid to stop and pick them up because that's the difference of paying your bills at the end of the month or, or maybe struggling that little bit. Um, and I'd rather pay my bills. Um, you know, here's, here's a little bit of the gold that I've collected uh, from CPUs. There's some hard drives, uh, some ceramic pieces. Um, there's lots of copper. Um, this is just from a couple days of scrapping. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Um, and stay tuned and I will be posting more videos. Uh, I hope this helped a little bit. And I hope I can put some extra money in your pocket. All right. Thanks for looking.